And we'll send it over to meteorologist Jim Sion, who's joining us now with a look at our first warning weather forecast. You know, my dad had a friend mm -hmm. that used to always come over and make hot apple cider on the holidays. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't much of a cider person, but you know, on a morning like this, I don't know. I'm a hot chocolate kind of girl. Would it like a little yeah. splash of coffee? Yes. You know, a little zhuzh? Yes. That sounds you good to today. It's good. Yeah, no, I that, mean, it's that, good every day, but it's definitely good today because we need it. Yes, we have temperatures in the <laughs> low 40s, and it's not going to get a lot warmer today. Sure, we're going to get into the mid and upper 50s, but I think that's about as warm as it's going to get. Let's check out those current temperatures right now. 42 in Bogalusa and 42 in Hammond. Flirting with the 30s there on the North Shore with a 42 also in Slidell. 46 the current temperature in Homa. There's a live look at our current conditions. At Louis Armstrong International Airport, the dew point is at 45. That's low. The relative humidity right now is on the low side. 53 degrees, the current temperature at the airport with visibility at 10 miles. But you wouldn't think with a dew point at 45 and humidity being low that we have rain in the forecast. That's what we have. Now, granted, it's not real heavy rain. This is an upper level disturbance that's moving in our general direction. It's going to keep us mostly cloudy for a good majority of the next couple of days. But the current surface map shows us that there's actually high pressure at the surface. Some of these mid and high level clouds may contain a couple of sprinkles by the afternoon, maybe the evening tonight, but the rain would be so light. I really don't think you'd need any sort of an umbrella. Let's take a look at the computer models and see how it plays out today. Watch your high temperature today as we get to the mid afternoon. Here we are at about two o'clock mid to upper fifties. That's about it. A couple of showers coming in. They're not going to be very strong by any stretch of the imagination. They're just going to be kind of light sprinkles. One, two, three dots of moisture on the windshield. Here we are first thing in the morning on Friday. Still going to be cloudy, but Friday should be an improving weather day. We may have some light showers in the morning. In the afternoon, though, your high temperature makes it to the low in mid 60s. So a warmer day for us Friday and then the clouds really decrease for us as we look ahead towards Saturday. Saturday is definitely going to be the better of the two days this weekend. Very quick check of your travel forecast only because we're pausing things here on Sunday. And look at this. We could have a decent snowstorm for St. Louis, Chicago, Milwaukee, Kansas City. That's a possibility. So those could be some travel trouble spots, if you will, on Sunday. Mostly cloudy and cool today. A few light showers with a high temperature in the mid to upper 50s in most spots. Mostly cloudy tonight. A light shower is possible. Again, cool. Not quite as cool as this morning, but definitely jacket weather if you're up first thing in the morning. Black Friday, mostly cloudy, a little bit warmer, a stray shower mainly early in the day. And again, if you do see a shower, it's going to be very, very light. Saturday, by far the better of the two days this weekend. High in the mid 60s with partly to mostly sunny skies, 40% chance for showers on your uh, Saint Sunday. And then thanks to a cold front, we get cooler for the beginning of next week and breezy too Monday and Tuesday. That is your WDSU first warning forecast. All right, Jim, thanks so much.